Hi, I'm Shan and this is Life with Shan. This is my first travel video in a while and I know a lot of you guys came for my initial travel video about EF Ultimate Breaks European road trip that I posted at the end of last year. So I'm gonna do most of this video about how to save money when traveling, particularly when traveling with EF Ultimate Break. But a lot of these tips can be used with any type of travel, whether it be domestic or international. How to save money with currency exchanges and when to book everything. Before we get started, like comment subscribe so I know which videos to keep producing for you guys I do a lot of books because a lot of you guys come from my book Instagram but I do know there's a growing interest in the travel side of things so let me know what you're interested in to start EF ultimate break is a tour company for people the ages between 18 and 35 years old it includes so much in their trips you can get it with flights or without flights and book your own flights you get some meals boarding transportation between different places it's essentially a great way to travel if you don't want to plan it and you want to truly just enjoy it without having to figure out every day what to do, when to be where, what train to get on, what bus to get on. If you want to go on a trip and have someone pick you up at the airport and say, this is what we're doing at what time, this is what you need to wear, be prepared, let's do it. Or if you also want to have free time, which they do have on these trips, they have a lot of everything and it's a great way to travel stress-free and for, at least for me who does travel as a solo female time to time, it's nice to know that I know people where I am when I'm traveling, especially with the international trips, to know that there's people I can contact in an emergency who are in the same city as me. A lot of people who travel with EF Ultimate Break do travel solo. You would take your flight over to your destination, you meet other people from your group there, you slowly become close friends, and by slowly, I mean two to three days usually is how long it takes for people in the, on these trips to form close friendships, to the point where I recently got married and I had quite a few of my friends for my most recent EF trip at the wedding because we just all got along so well and we enjoy one another's company. Not only did we have this amazing trip of 17 days in Europe with so many things provided, but now we have long-term friendships afterwards. So EF Ultimate Break is a great company. I am an ambassador for them. So if you do decide to book with them, please use the link in my bio to get $100 off your trip. I will also provide honest reviews and answers to any questions you guys ask. There are different travel companies for this age range. I have not participated with any of those travel companies, which is a, or a broader company for travel range. Um, they have like EF Go Ahead tours, which could be families or, old, or older travelers or just couples of the same range, which includes different things. They have EF, which I did in high school with a, my Spanish teacher. We went to Spain and Morocco for a few days. I think it was 10 days. So they do have different types of companies, but the one I'm most affiliated with is EF Ultimate Break. When it comes to booking with EF Ultimate Break, I highly I highly recommend book as early as possible. This will give you the lowest rate because as you get closer to trips, prices go up just as they do with anything with flights, hotels, all of that. The earlier you book your trip, the better. You'll have a lower rate and your payments to pay off your trip will be lower because you'll have more time to pay it and you're paying a lower amount. I do highly recommend getting the insurance for 180, maybe it is at the time of recording this. I haven't booked a trip in a bit. For whatever the price is, as long as it's two, under 200, I think it's a great deal. It covers medical, it covers if your flight's canceled, and just a bunch of different things. It's all in the fine print, but I highly recommend travel insurance, especially for international trips. So if you booking as early as possible, you also can use codes. You can use like the ambassador link below to get $100 off your first trip with my link down in the description. If you've traveled with them before, use the code REPEAT and you'll get a discount based off of how long it's been since your previous trip. You can also use the link below in my description to look up group trips. I did not create this master sheet. I'm not affiliated with it. I just think it's such a great resource that a fellow passionate traveler created. This spreadsheet includes all, not all, but a lot of the upcoming group trips where on group trips, you'll find someone who is a group coordinator who has a coupon if you sign up for their trip. And that coupon is typically $200 off your trip. They say that you cannot combine this with the ambassador coupon or the repeat coupon, but I will say it 
does not hurt to ask. It does not hurt to ask. Call, email, chat. It never hurts to ask if they'll combine the coupon. When doing a group trip, I am coordinating a few myself. So as the coordinator, I try to get as many people involved on the trip to go with me. You get to meet people a little earlier of who's going on the trip with you. You get to have the $200 discount, which honestly is just a win in general. You know your faces when you go on the trip. It's just a little more comforting, especially if you're going solo. Some group coordinators go above and beyond and they do gift bags and everything. I personally am not sure how to even coordinate that and bring gifts abroad and fit them in a suitcase. That sounds like a lot. I would love to do something like that, but I think it's just too much for me personally. So just it's a win. You get $200 off your trip and you'll have familiar faces when you go on the trip. You can use the group discount, as I just said, for refresher, you can use the ambassador discount in the link or in my description. And you can also use repeat code. Like I said before, always sign up early. If you're interested in doing group coordinating for a trip, as I am doing, I have three. I'm doing in May, 2023, we're going to Greece. I have a few of my personal friends from that and then other people that have seen about it online that joined through my coupon. I have a few friends going with me to Iceland in September and a few people who saw about it online and joined with the coupon. And then next February of 2024, I have Patagonia group trip. So if you're interested in any of those and want to join me, let me know and I'll send you the information. But if you are interested in coordinating your own group trip, they're pretty easy to do. If you get nine recruits or nine people use your code, your trip is free without the flight. And if you have 11 people use your code, you get your trip completely free up to $4,000. You help other people save money while you're also getting to save some money. Um, it is kind of hard to hit nine people. I mean, it's hard for a lot of people to want to travel and pay to do these things. So it's up to you on how you want to do it. I personally was afraid to be a group coordinator because I don't like to be salesy. Even stuff like this, telling you guys to use my code and stuff, I feel salesy. But it is a win-win, which is how I like to look at it. If you're already going to book a trip, I don't have that coupon. However, I tried really hard not to be pushy, which is kind of the opposite of what EF says to do. I don't want to pressure people to do anything. If they want to travel with me, go ahead. If you want to do a different day or if you have questions, I'm happy to help. I'm just not much of a salesy person, but each person's their own. And there are perks on both sides. So if you want to be a group coordinator, you can ask me questions about my experience. I can answer them in the comments below or even on my Instagram. You can message me at bookish. Shan. You can also go on EF Ultimate Breaks website and sign up there and ask questions with an EF employee who would know much more than I do, but that's just my experience. Another thing with EF Ultimate Break is that the earlier you sign up, the lower the, lower the price. And if they do a sale or discount your trip within 60 days of your booking, you can email them and ask them to price match your trip for the lower rate. Even with booking early, if there is an upcoming sale like Black Friday, semi-annual sale, summer sale, whatever sale they have and if your specific trip that you booked goes at a lower rate than what you booked it for they will price match it within 60 days it is a good deal and like i said the lower prices are always as far out as possible like i already booked a 2024 trip because i wanted to get get the lowest rate possible now you're traveling whether it be with ef ultimate break or on your own or a different company there are some tips i use to save money when i'm abroad first thing which is big for me because i drink about 100 ounces of water day is I got Brita filtered water bottle. It's a water bottle that has a Brita filter in it. I can just fill it up with tap water, drink straight out of it wherever I am. I really like this because then I'm not spending money on plastic water bottles, which are bad for the environment and can be expensive after a while, depending on where you are. It saves me money that way. I always have water. I never feel like, well, I don't have water. I need to find a place to get water out of my hotel room. So that saves me a lot financially, time-wise, and the environment a little bit. When you go abroad, you will typically need to have the currency for the country you're in. So for example, we went to London last year. So London has pounds, they don't have euros, they have pounds. So I had a credit card that has no travel fees. You need to check with your bank to see if the credit cards have travel fees. Some people in our group were being charged 5% each purchase in international travel fees. So it got to a point where people in our group were just using my card to pay for things and then were sending me money back because it's ridiculous to pay that much. You can get a credit card that has zero travel fees. I have like an airline credit card, so I have a travel credit card to do that. I'm sure there are other banks that have travel credit card that you can use. You do not want to be paying fees for using a card. It's just a waste of money. Another thing you can do because you are going to want cash in some way, especially in Europe, a lot of the bathrooms require exact change 
thing, but you're not gonna have with a credit card or anything. So you can go to your local at-home bank in the US and say, I wanna take out this much money and they'll tell you the currency rate. This is not a fee, it just means, I think like the Euro US dollar is a dollar 27 at the time of filming this and then the British pound is the value of one. So for me to get 100 pounds, I had to pay 127 US dollars to meet match a hundred pounds. That is just the currency rate. It's not one for one. It was 127 for one. So that's the rate. It was not a fee because I went to my at-home bank. However, if you go abroad and you're in a tourist area and you go to the first thing you see, they're going to charge you a fee, astronomical fee, and they're going to make it seem like it's the best deal in the world. You don't want to do that. You can talk to your tour guides to see about places where to go. Sometimes ATMs have a better deal, but I've noticed that in-person booths where you talk to someone and that's the business of that booth, they're going to charge a lot of fees. If you go to an ATM or your at-home bank in the US, you'll get the better deal for getting cash for your trip abroad. I highly recommend utilizing the metro system when abroad instead of Ubering or lifting. A lot of countries don't use Uber and they'll have kind of apps that are adjacent to that concept, but using the metro system, you get to see more of the city, you get more comfortable with the city, you have more of a mental map of the city. It's a lot more reasonably priced. And we were in Paris Paris last year, we were there for about a day and we just took the metro system all around Paris to do a bunch of different things. Also to help save money, you can walk. You'll see more of the city that way, get more exercise. You'll get a lot more experience out of that. And walking is typically pretty free, especially if you have a Brita filtered water that you fill up with water instead of having to purchase water. It's a good deal. When you are traveling, look into what countries are accustomed to. A lot of countries, the tip is included, the food price, or they don't require tips because they pay. You wanna know before you go whether you need to tip, how much you should, be tipping. You don't want to seem rude. You want to just be in the know and you also don't want to overspend. That way you can have more money for future travel. I think one thing to know when you go into trips is what you really want to spend your money on. Do you want to budget more for souvenirs, for experiences, for food, and kind of have that idea in the back of your mind. That way you're not overspending on impulse things because it's really easy to get caught up in the I'm on vacation, I'm on vacation, spend, spend, spend. So just keep in mind what it is you want to spend money on, your priorities are, and that will help you keep track of everything. While it is so fun to just relax, enjoy vacation, and live it up. I personally like to save my money so that way I can vacation more frequently. It's up to you. Everybody has their own thing to each their own. Just go into it knowing what you want out of this trip, what you need to budget for, and just enjoy it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment them below or direct message me on Instagram at bookishshan. Again, my ambassador link is below. I added the spreadsheet with all the group information for group trips to save $200 on a trip if you have a trip that lines up with those group trips. If you've already been on an EF trip, you can use code REPEAT to get another di a discount on top of your trip. I hope you guys are doing well.